The last ruling Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan Hazrat Lari. Born in 1842, he ruled the Ottoman Empire for 33 years, in its most difficult days indeed. Many suggest he may be the most amazing of Sultans. He was a defender of truth, standing alone in a vast, dark desert of injustice. He outmaneuvered the British, the French and the Russians to keep the destruction of colonialism away from the Ottoman lands. Anyone who says a Shahada today owes him a debt of gratitude. Through his sheer intelligence and force of will, he stopped the plans of those who sought to destroy Islam. He was betrayed and removed from power in 1909. When the Muslims lost him, they lost their protector. When he was offered the world, he said, my life is for Islam. When they tried to insult the Holy Prophet, he said, watch your tongue or I will cut it from your mouth. When they tried to buy Palestine, he said, I would rather be cut to pieces than give an inch of Quds. It isn't mine to give. It belongs to the Ummat who paid for it with blood. His days were spent standing firm to protect us. His nights were spent in sajda. His eyes were looking at the mission of Rasulullah. He was a man of Allah who held back the forces of evil and shaitan. He was our honor, our protector, he was Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan Hazrat Liri. His mind was the amazement of kings and ministers everywhere. The glorious Ottomans provided the shade of Allah to the earth for over 600 years. Their Sultanate, their empire provided assistance and comfort to the Muslims all over the world from Egypt to Malaysia, from Arabia to Africa, they are not gone. Their descendants are still here, carrying the majesty of their grandfathers. One of those grandsons is Shahzade Abdul Hamid Kayhan Osmanoglu, a direct grandson of Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan Hazrat Lari, through his son, the martyr Sultan Abdul Kirim. He is a reflection of his ancestors' dedication and love of service for the Ummah. Through his presence and his work, he reawakens the love of the Ottomans amongst the Ummah to remind them of their proud past as a Muslim. May Allah preserve him and make his travels build the bonds of mercy and love between the Ummah.